we do actually offer uh, a design fee specifically for lighting. We have our own uh, lighting designer. So in that particular case, you know, that's that's a step, you know, to get into lighting. But uh, to be honest with you, you know, uh, with the budget calculator, you know, you you, you get a, a, a feedback so fast in, in terms of, of the number that, you know, we feel comfortable. We, we've been, we've been, we've been uh, an HGA uh, a certified for only two months, I believe. Uh, guys, I, that's what I think we, we, we've been on. And, and in the in, in those two months, we've been we already closed probably about 1.2 1.3 million dollars in uh, in sales that have, could have actually taken twice three times the time to close it, and five times you know the amount of time to design it. Yep. So if you are if you're asking me in, uh, with, with with this tool that the fact that I know what the customer feels comfortable with. It came to the showroom. It looked exactly, you know, what we were discussing in terms of pricing. I'm going directly in, in, into a proposal. And, uh, and and what I want to do is to close the ratio of time to get that job, you know, uh, in, into the pipeline. And, and we've been able to achieve that in the past two months. That's awesome. And virtual high five on your closes there, Andres. Nice job. Pete, um, In, in our yeah. case, uh, we're expensive. And, uh, you know, on that uh, check, you know, where it shows, you know, uh, you know, how expensive, you know, it is it's very expensive. And, uh, and, and it's okay, you know, listen, we do not want to have, you know, uh, the type of customer that is nickel and diming, you know, everything uh, that we're putting together, you know, we, we have uh, a, a high amount, you know, for engineering, we have project managers, you know, we, we, we have, we, we even, you know, charge your logistics fees. So, you know, uh, our proposals, uh, you know, we don't charge a, a design fee up front, but about every proposal has a big chunk of engineering uh, fees. And, and we're not, you know, that's how we differentiate uh, from everybody else. Uh, and everybody that is an HDA certified uh, company within our territory does exactly the same uh, the same type of uh, of sell of how the company is perceived, and and that's what we want to be. We don't want to be uh, less than a, you know, that a high end jewelry store, you know, with a big name. And that's what we that's what we want. Uh, but that's what we wanted to experience. You know, we embedded the the webs. We embedded the budget calculator in our website, big time. You know. Uh, Every email that that gets sent uh, from our system has a link to the budget calculator. Um, the best compliment we had is uh, one day our our digital strategy company calls me up and says, "Listen, I got a call from uh, your competitor. He's asking me uh, if if I can embed, you know, this calculator that you have on the website because he's been using it for his customers." <laughs> um, so you know, um, I think there's nothing better than to have a call to action when you're logging into a website. You know, you, you can browse, you know, uh, and you, you spend very little time, you know, looking at, at, at pictures, you know, and on services. But if you get to uh, get that person who's visiting your website to do something interactive and it's to his benefit, uh, I'm telling you that, that the, the budget calculator is the best uh, way to filter that person that is visiting your website and that person who is spending time in your budget calculator, that's the, that's the guy that you need to retarget after he goes out because he uh, demonstrated an interest. And in and, and our end, that's what we're looking. We're trying to capture that person who came through maybe a campaign, maybe through a newsletter, spend time in the budget calculator, did not submit it, the information, but it, it, it showed that it had, the, there was interest. Best way to actually invest then on your marketing uh digital marketing expenses because you know that guy is interested in somehow in any of the services that we're providing so budget calculator became has be, is becoming actually the call to action for every piece of information that we're sending from our company from our website to newsletters to even invoices you know you you, go, you have actually a link to keep on actually looking discovering how what things you want to do and how much is going to cost it's the one thing that, that that we all as customers want want to answer once we have an idea of, of uh, things that we want to invest in. So it, for us, it's actually uh, a win-win. And no matter where you go in our website, 
you have the click here to calculate your budget banner on top of it mm -hmm. all the time. It follows you. Awesome. And so for, for those of you dealers who don't understand what retargeting is or half the things that Andres was talking about in terms of digital marketing, hit up Ron at One Firefly and he can kind of walk you, walk you through that stuff um, on how, how to sort of capture that person that uh, has come to your website and engaged and get, get back to them and keep in their face. Um, James, what about you? Do, you? do you have the calculator embedded in your site or you refer people back to the HTA website? Yeah, no, we do. We've got it embedded in our site. Um, I'm not doing any of the clever stuff that Andre's doing and I'm, uh, <laughs> I should be. Is, 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 uh, is One Firefly doing that for you or are you doing that all with your big brain? Well, one Firefly actually handles part of our of our data strategy by, uh, by by using our chat, which is the other interactive uh, part of our website. Uh, but we do have a different company uh, that that builds content for us, uh, that that maintains our newsletter, that maintains our website, and uh, you know, with our guidance, uh, we we refresh this uh, every week. We have uh, you know reports every every fifteen days. Just to check, you know, our community, our click level, you know. Uh, so we do, we, we we do a lot of reporting to try to do better. We want more people to visit our website and to spend more time in our website. And the budget calculator is a good excuse to to do that. Right. Yeah. Sure. No, we should do more of that for sure. But um, then I definitely I prefer to have it embedded because then it sort of stays within our brand. You know, it's uh, the the. They're, they're thinking home play. They're not thinking HTA. Not that there's, you wouldn't want them thinking of HTA, of course. But um, well, here in the UK, actually, there's very little point in them thinking right. about HTA at the moment. But uh, so, so I'm, I'm a little bit different than you guys in that you know I like not having it on my website. I like pointing clients back to to HTA, and the reason I like doing that is because they don't trust me yet at this point. You know, James, you brought up trust. It's super important in our industry. Um, you know, because clients don't understand what I do and they automatically come out of the gate thinking that they're going to be overcharged because they don't understand our stuff. Um, so I like pointing them back to the HTA website because it's not me, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think them, this is this is my range. Um, and I also don't mind the fact that there's other dealers on there like Pete, like, yeah, I'm in very good company with the dealers in L.A. They're all great dealers. And you know, if they're really looking around and they, they're looking for other dealers, I'm, I'm probably not doing my job. So um, I, I don't really see that as a threat. I, and I can't recall any uh, client I pushed to the HTA website to do a budget calculator to, um, you know, bring other dealers they saw or whatever. Um, 